You're listening to the Wintrust Business Lunch on 720 WGN 1252. All right, let's talk to, hey, front row Phyllis is on a phone line. Phyllis, welcome back to the Business Lunch. Hey, Steve, how are you? I'm fine. You know, I'm th- I was, it was just, I saw a commercial or some sort of notice for the auto show's big black tie affair, I think is tonight, February 9th. Yeah. And um, it is. Oh, I worry about them. You know, I hope they can get a crowd and people show up because this is just a rough night if you're doing something like that or uh, a theater or any sort of special event, I would imagine. I think so. I think it's going to be a little hectic, but I think that as long as we take it a little slow, we're all going to be in our beautiful long gowns along with the men in their tuxedos. Tonight is, of course, the first look for charity event. And the car show kicks off officially tomorrow on Saturday and runs through February 19th over at McCormick Place. There's some great things uh, this year. There's three test tracks, um, Jeep has one, Toyota, and Kia. Which one are you going to use first? I think I'm going on Jeep. Jeep? How about you? (laughs) Okay. Uh, I'm more of a Kia person, I think. Did Did you say Kia? Yeah, Kia okay. and Toyota. Okay. And then what's really cool is uh, Jaguar actually is introducing their first compact SUV. It's called the E-Pace. Uh-huh. So that should be kind of uh, cool to see. What's it the, called, Phyllis? Um, E-Pace. E-Pace, okay. Well, yeah. you, boy, I mean, that's a that's a lot of cash to spend for a, a crossover an SUV, don't you think, a Jaguar? I, I think it's probably up there with uh, what, like the BMWs and the, uh, the Porsche has one. So I think it's going to be probably at that level. I'll let you know because I might be able to, I'll, I'll just purchase one later on tonight. Well, swing by, will you? Because the weather's fine. You yeah. can drive by here. There'd be no problem with that at all. Exactly. <laughs> so there's that so at McCormick Place. Oh, also yeah. a couple of things going on at the Windy City Winery. And one is uh, Natalie Merchant, right, is going to be there with her band. So it is 10,000 Maniacs, and that is tonight and tomorrow evening. You know, 10,000 Maniacs are one of the most critically acclaimed bands performing over the past three decades. They actually kind of redefined college rock, and they were actually the first wave of alternative rock bands, yeah, which uh, I, I didn't realize that, right? Uh, yeah, you know, it's funny um, you say that because I was in college when I think they were probably coming to the four in the early 80s or mid 80s and they yeah. are, they're one of those bands who's got a name that doesn't match their music because i remember clearly thinking why would i want to listen to someone called Ten Thousand maniacs <laughs> really but I, I love listening to them so they're at the windy yeah. city Rhin- Rhin- so you're going to go from the auto show to the windy city winery is that what you're going to do yeah tonight? to the city winery yeah you know i'm just going to be you know hopping i think i'm going to have my own private uber tonight uh, is what i yeah. really have to have uh, and, then, <laughs> and, and then you're going to check out the chocolate show there at the winery what's that about doesn't that sound wonderful so it's on valentine's day so on february 14th it starts at seven o'clock and let's match chocolate and wine is like literally <laughs> the perfect pairing right. I, I mean it has my name written all over it and um there's going to be top pastry chefs there as well as wine connoisseurs you'll get a chance to uh taste some of the exotic chocolate desserts and wild wines so i say Skip dinner and just head over for dessert. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm not a big chocolate person. I don't think that's going to be But I'm interested <laughs> in the show Love Never Dies at the Cadillac Theater. What's that about? Yeah, so this is actually, it runs February 14th through March 4th. And it is the sequel of Phantom of the Opera. Oh, I didn't so, know. You're always introducing me to things I feel like I should know about. I right. didn't. I didn't know this show existed. See, but that's my job. That's what I'm supposed right. to do. And right. you're going to love this. This is actually, it takes place 10 years after the disappearance. And the Phantom now has a new life. And he is living in Coney Island in New York, uh, which is kind of funny to me to begin with. Yeah. And then Christina Day actually is, of course, one of the best sopranos. And she's on tour. And she happens to be going to Coney Island in New York to perform. And so you get a chance to see you know, there's everything from intrigue and obsession and romance, and you want to check this out. To so a roller excited. coaster, I guess. Yeah, okay. So yep. Yep. Love Never Dies. What's it called again? Love Never Dies. Love Never Dies. Phantom yeah, of the Cadillac. Opera set at Coney Island. Yeah. It should be great. <laughs> You're not even convinced. That just sounds a, little, that sounds a little too twisted. I don't know about this one. I know, but it's it's actually seriously they're calling it the best of Andrew Lloyd Webber wow. since Phantom of the Opera. Uh, so okay. we got to check it out. We're going to do it. I'm kind of embarrassed. I didn't know too much about that one. All right, Phyllis, where do people find more information about all of this? 
Just go to frontrowphillips.com. All right. Yeah, I know you've you got a big night ahead of you, so uh, you know, be I careful. Do. Enjoy yourself, okay? Thanks. You too. Have a safe weekend. It's the Wintrust Business Lunch on 720 WGN.